Now I think it's time to get some food. What does this mean? Start, stop running. I've never really seen that before. I've never looked at it. Maybe it's been there the whole time. I'm not sure. Terrible condition. Oh, right, I don't have any... God damn it! I... Alright, you know, fuck that. I need a vehicle. Who are you? Stranger, you look creepy. I don't know what you're holding. I'm just gonna run away. Oh my god. Four places. Should be able to find a vehicle here. Do I want to use hiding? I really don't want to attract attention, but... Eh, I have a bow. Nothing worth a damn. Ho oh, ho! Meat cleaver. And a bunch of clothes. Which paints a picture of what happened here. Maybe somebody was chopping up people. <laughs> I'm just imagining, like, a bloody cleaver on the ground and then a pile of clothes. Mismatched, obviously, from many different people. Do I actually want it, though? Well, it doesn't even matter. I don't really have room for it. Shitty boot. Shitty boot. Really shitty boot. 0.3%. Terrible. Let's keep going. <gasps> okay. Is there going to be something inside of the first aid kit? Is there going to be something inside of the first aid kit? Please be something inside of the first aid kit. <gasps> Monkey wrench. Oh, this is the stuff that was already on the ground, right? It's just getting added. What can you actually do with a monkey wrench? I'm really curious. I wonder if you need, like, the mechanic skill. Let me see if it's, there's something on the wiki. What was it good for? Torch, meat, quality torch, roasted meat on a stick, rough splint, squirrel snare, tarp shelter, and a travoy? What the hell's a travoy? A travoy is a frame structure that is used to drag loads over land. Well. Need the mechanic skill for that. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this is pretty much useless, useless to me. Seems like it. There's a person over there, but I want to go there to search. Yeah, I'll find more stuff. Alright, let's veer off a bit to the right. In an attempt to find a vehicle. would be nice if I actually needed the warmth, but I don't. Water purification tablets, I will take those. I'll just leave them lying around all loose, that's fine. Rifle scope strap, I can put that around my neck. Magnifying optics, optics equipped. Not sure exactly what the bonus of that is. I think it would allow you to see, like, a hex further, and I don't know, maybe it does. A deer! <gasps> oh, 
god, if I can... I, I have a bow. I can shoot the deer and process it. But again, I'd have nowhere to store the meat. Wouldn't even matter. Need a vehicle. Damn it. Hmm. Can't see very well. That scares me. What if I turn on my NVGs? Better. Very good chance of finding loot. <laughs> no useful items found. Wonderful. Thank you. Could sleep. I don't really need sleep that badly. I am thirsty though, and I know that can snowball. So let's go ahead and drink. I'm just gonna keep moving. I really want a vehicle. Four abandoned houses. You know, I will use hiding. It makes my sneak way better, and it doesn't affect the loot that much. Nothing in the soup can. Some more painkillers. <laughs> Ketchup packets. Yum. Made we goodness. Sleeping pills. I just realized how hilarious the combination of my items is. I'm going scavenging and I'm using NVGs. And the light source, which is a horrible combination, by the way, because it would totally blow out the NVGs. Kind of w Oh, yes! Yes, 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 thank the gods. Okay. Ah. Right. Back in business. Let's go ahead and put a rope on that thing. What is it? Small parts? Rags? String? There we go. Beautiful. 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 I could cry. Alright, I'm gonna go back for my shit. I want it. Anything else I want? Eh, I don't know. Might as well keep going. Half of a binocular. I'm good. I've got a Rifle scope, thank you. Cryo lighting. Okay, how far? How far to get back? Am I even gonna remember where I dumped all my shit? F fuck! I don't even think I can. Hmm. I think I'm just gonna sleep. Yeah. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Wait, I, d I just looted abandoned houses and I can't even take shelter in them? Never mind, I'm not going to sleep here. Screw that. Nope. Got three more charges left. Is 
There's a shelter here? Whoa! <gasps> Holy shit! Somebody has a camp here. There's even a sleeping bag. I'm almost scared to even sleep here because, well, maybe they're gonna come back. Oh my god. Oh my freaking god. Ashes, so somebody had a fire, but it's gone. It's a freaking jackpot. Okay, I will take the tarp, I will take that bag. Let's check out what is in here. See, the backpack is in worse condition than mine, so I'm not going to take it, but I absolutely want the crowbar. Digital water tester. I'm not sure if that matters. Because I sterilize my water. Well, it's worth a bit of money anyway, and it's small. What is this? Go phone, cell phone. What do you even do with a cell phone? Am I really... Are, are the satellites even working? Can I even make calls? And who would I even call? God, I'm such a dick. I'm stealing this person's stuff. A pair of binoculars. Oh, they need a strap. To be able to put them around my neck. There we go. Rifle scope and a pair of binoculars. Ooh, is that real? Hydrocodone, real hydrocodone. This time I'm not going to waste it at the junk market. Bastard stole my drugs. I'll leave him in the bottle. It's cute. Even though it's a waste of space. Newspaper for more arrows. Or not newspaper, but scrap of paper. Beacon in the night. In the wake of the mass evacuations of the Great Black Swamp, stories of families separated are all too common. Today, however, two sisters have returned despite impossible odds. Cassandra and Veronica... Sisters who lost contact during the forced evacuation of their hometown are finally together again. Thanks to their shared interest in astronomy and a nightly ritual of pointing out stars with flashlights, Cassandra and Veronica were able to spot each other's light beams from nearby refuge camps. As soon as we saw the flashlights in the care packages, we knew we had a chance. They beamed. Aww. How much paper do I have? Not much. I should shred it. Okay, let me see if this is sterilized. No, no, and... Oh, this is. Let's go ahead and drink that right now. Don't need more bottles, so I'm just gonna leave that. Okay, I'm actually going to leave this silver urn in something that's in better condition than the box, just in case it falls apart. I don't want to forget it. Let's put that there, and let's shove this in here. I like how things dance when you keep pressing the button. Doot, 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 doot. I'm curious, what would happen if I emptied the silver urn? Uh, the ashes. Like, are they special ashes? What if I empty the silver urn and put in different ashes? Would anybody know? <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. I'm so fucking not gonna do that. Given where this urn came from, for all I know, when I empty it out, I'm gonna, like, unleash some spirit. So let's not do that. All right, I think I'm good. Yep. I will make a camp. I've got to put uh, put the sleeping bag on the ground. 
Not good concealment. Very good sleep, though. Not very good shelter. Can I sleep in a box? Oh, I can't sleep in a box. Disappointing. Let's go ahead and use the tarp to make a thingy. Plus string. Here we go. Nope, get in there. Bad concealment, but much better shelter. Is there any way I can... How do I increase my concealment? Like, there's gotta be a way to cover my tarp in, I don't know, leaves or something? You know? It seems like that should be a thing. Camouflage. But I don't know how I how I would do it. It's a shame you can't use your trapping or hiding skill or something to increase the concealment of your camp. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. Wonderful. Let's not forget, take the stuff from my campsite. Can I, can I put it on the... Yes, yes, put it in upside down, that's fine. Whatever. I've got to wait. Give me my ship back. Okay, am I missing anything? Don't want to forget something. No, I'm good. God, this is a mess. Such a mess. Oh, I want to sort the bottles so bad. No, 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 no. I'll leave it. I'll just, just leave it. Just leave it. It's fucking fine. It's fine. Leave it. Let's make some more of these traps. Come to need some food. No, that's not right. Small thread. Small thread. Small thread. Yes? No? Yes. So get me some squirrels. Four forests. Yes. Beautiful. Hmm. They're holding something. Looks like maybe a shard of glass. I don't know. They can try to fuck with me. Fuck with me if they want. It's not gonna get them very far. Yes, more squirrels. Give me more squirrels. I'm gonna make the squirrels go extinct at this rate. Ooh, I'm burdened because of all the squirrels. Hold on. What's her condition? 8%. Yeah, they can wait one more turn. I'm actually out of room. I'm actually out of room. There we go. <laughs> Just got a pile of squirrel corpses. That's pretty grim. Okay, I'm actually going to start moving away. Alright, let's process this stuff. <laughs> Time to get my hands bloody. Oh, one actually spoiled. Well, shit. Tool, 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 tool. Right, how's it looking? Condition, 9%, 6%. I think I need to eat it right about now. But I'm going to have to wait, wait another turn to make a fire. Unfortunately. Gotta wait, I think some of it's going to spoil. Well, 
Maybe not. Dude, that spoiled meat there. Let's put it down there. I don't want to accidentally eat it. I wonder if you could even cook spoiled meat. I hope not. Okay, fire time. See if you can cook spoiled meat. No, good, you can't. That barely did anything. Also, I noticed that um, the the noise trap. Looks like it's made out of a creamy crumb soup can. So I'm guessing I can actually probably craft one. But with what? String? Plus... What about pebbles? Like stones? Maybe put stones inside of it? Maybe? Ooh. What the hell am I making it out of? I don't even know. Let's make one. Let's see what it's made out of. String and a small a handful of small twigs and bark. Hmm. Seems like putting stones in it would be more effective than twigs and bark. Or maybe that's just to cover it. I don't know. But anyway, that's cool. Use that for the next time I sleep. I've got a nice sleeping kit here. Sleeping bag, a tarp to make a lean to, and a makeshift noise trap. So I get the hell out of Dodge if somebody comes knocking. Damn, four more forests! 2.9%, come on. You know, I might as well process it right now. I've already got a fire. Let's do one more. Should be enough to process it all, I think. Wait, what? Did... Oh shit, did my multi-tool just break? Oh god, it did. I wasn't paying attention to its condition. Oh, man. Alright, thankfully I've got a bunch of shards. Oh, I can't process the final piece of meat. Do I really care about this final piece of meat? I'm just going to take it with me. It'll last for a while. K kind of. Not really. Anyway, I'll be back in just a second. All right was thinking I should probably put the cardboard box in my vehicle. Which I'm now paying very close attention to its condition. 64% should be good for a while. Yeah, let's go ahead and shove it in here. And... You know, I might as well just dump the box, right? takes up exactly as much space as what's inside of it. Except what's inside of it isn't even full, so it's taking up more space. Yeah, I'm just gonna dump it. No, don't, oh god, don't destroy. <laughs> Empty out, don't destroy. Peels here. Peels. Alright, there we go. Now, I want to make... I want to make a spear again. Time to make a new sphere. Let's make a sphere. <sighs> okay, how do I make a hardened sphere? Need a, really, need a really good sphere. Not a square, but a sphere. 
Is it ranged or trapping? I think it's ranged. I need a fire source. Okay, fire source plus... Is it a big shaft or a small one? Or medium? Not sure. Plus something sharp? Plus string? Small string? Small parts? Sharpened spear? What about hardened? Hardened spear is flame source, large, rigid, flexible shaft. Oh, right, I'm missing ranged. Wait, broad spear? Okay, which one's better? Hardened spear or broad spear? Also, holy shit, that condition is terrible. 12.7%, it's because of the shards. It apparently inherits the condition of the shards. Hold on, these have different conditions? Or are they all 12? They do have different conditions. Okay, I need a really good, really good shard. Here we go, 93%. There. 93% <laughs> condition broad spear. That's better. It's weird. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to separate your shards and pick the best quality one for your broad spear. Or it'll fall apart in seconds. It's a professional survivalist tip. But again, I'm left with the question of is that better than a hardened spear? I'm looking at the wiki. It doesn't seem to say anything. I mean, it, may it needs more parts, so I'm assuming that means it's better. I'm going to assume it's better. It looks better. So there we go. Melee weapon and a bow. Okay. Let's continue on running. I think I'll go over the hills and far, far away from the people that are surrounding me. Could always use more squirrels. It's another shitty squirrel. Fucking shitty squirrels. Zero point one percent. Ugh. You disgust me. I'd probably need to process these right now, or they're going to go bad. Yeah, I'm going to be going through these shards really quickly. Need to find another multi-tool. Okay, I'm going to need to eat all of it, because otherwise I should attempt to cure it. I'm probably going to eat all of it. Let's eat the crappiest stuff first. 1%, I'll eat that. 2%, and 13. Okay, I think that actually might be maxed. So, yeah, these are in good condition. I'm just going to save them. They'll be fine. Don't need to cure them. Should probably have a drink. Probably head down more than I head to the right. Are you following me? I'm kind of worried I'm going to be followed, so I'm going to hide my tracks. It'll be nighttime soon. I'm almost there, though. I'm actually... I think I'm actually going to get this urn back. I actually have no idea what happens after this. I have never seen what happens after you bring the urn back. I mean, I'm assuming he gives you 
access to the inside of the DMC, but then, assuming that actually happens, what happens when you get inside of the DMC? I have no idea. Never seen it before. Okay, gonna need to boil some more water. In fact, let's do that. Ah, well, I'm not gonna have enough moves. I'm just... No, I'm just gonna hide. I'll hide my tracks and then I'll hide. Now let's boil some water. I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> yep, felt it coming. <laughs> My indestructible metal saucepan is still indestructible. 20.9%. <laughs> you can actually make sterilized water. One times, two times, or three times. That's cute. How's my meat? There we go, back up to full. Continue on my way. Should be able to get there before nighttime. I think. I think that's just a DMC guard. Yeah, here it is. Sweet. Okay, I'm about to bring the urn back. I do still have the urn. Yes, there is the urn. Oh yeah, let me charge up my NVGs too. I've got containers within containers. So I need to empty the unlicensed power tap container to put the electric charge inside of the military microcell. And then put that inside of the NVG container. And then put it inside of my head container. Oh. Okay, it's the first time I've ever seen this. As the elevator cage slows to a stop, you see Hatter through the Iron Lattice, writing something on a sheet of plastic. He holds it up to an attending runner, who then hurries to catch the elevator before it's recalled. Data runners, he says, wiping the plastic clean as you approach. The network's pretty spotty out here, even this close to the DMC. Besides, he puts the blank plastic back into a drawer. Media diversity makes for more security. He rests his forearm, forearms on his desk. So, you have a delivery for me? Yes, I do. It hardly seems worth the fuss, Hatter says, as you hand him the urn. I'd almost, I'd almost forgo my end of the payment to know the story behind it. He places the urn in a safe, then locks it. But it's not worth the hit to my reputation. He reaches into a desk drawer and produces a black wristband. As agreed, your visitors pass. As you ride the elevator car down through the building innards once again, you wonder what to expect beyond DMC's massive gates. <gasps> oh. Tracking bracelet. Come here, you beautiful. Oh, do I have to actually wear this? I probably do, right? There we go. It's somewhere there under my patchwork hide glove. And under my hoodie. It's there. Okay, here we go. I guess I'm about to enter. What ha what happens? Like, is this... Uh, I mean, is this the end of the game or something? Like, really, what happens? I have no idea. I don't even know if this game has an end. I really don't.
Let's see. Right, it's the same as before, entering the line. Mm-hmm. At the front of the line, the guard motions you closer. A moment of pregnant silence precedes a, s a satisfying chirp, and the monitor flashes. Visitor pass, blah blah blah, authorized. The guard ushers you forward, and you begin down a longish stretch of empty corridor, lined with harsh xenon lighting. Beyond the opening at the other end, you see throngs of activity in the flicker of busy signage, eclipsed by passing people. Holy shit. Th this is amazing. What is this? Huh. Oh my god. This is so cool. This is so fucking cool. Where do I even want to go? I <laughs> Detroit Savings Bank. <laughs> Can I actually put my money in a bank? Wait a minute. One of the tanks, like one of the people inside one of the tanks, was it me? That was paid for by like a Detroit Savings Bank? Wasn't it me? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was me when I was looking at the console. My record said that the payments had come from a Detroit Savings Bank. This is seriously awesome. Okay, I'm gonna go to the Detroit Savings Bank. Detroit Savings Bank turns out to be a surprisingly tricky business to find. It has a presence, for certain. Self-service terminals are near ubiquitous. Winking at passerbys from countertops, ad walls, and alcoves. But there's little more to these terminals than signage, lights, and a screen. There doesn't even appear to be a place to dispense cash, nor insert a card. After a bit of walking, though, you eventually find a Detroit Savings Bank micro-branch with more than a screen. You're outside the Detroit Savings Bank's... Savings Bank's Gate 11 micro-branch. A secure climate-controlled booth, slightly larger than a covered bus stop, sits on the sidewalk here. It has the requisite self-serve terminal on the exterior, but looking through the transparent walls, there appears to be an actual human teller inside. I can hide and wait for the teller to leave. <laughs> I can actually do that. Wow. Hmm. I, wow, I can threaten the teller. Let's not do that. Okay, well, there's no reason to try to, like, steal from the bank yet. So I'm just going to go inside like a normal human being. You pull the transparent door open and step through. Inside, you're greeted with bright colored light and dry, tepid air. The teller, a presentable looking young woman with straight brown hair, looks up from her, ter from her terminal warmly. Hello, she says. Is there anything with which I can assist you today? Yes, ask about the... S I don't know how to pronounce that again. Sigis? Cryo facility account? I'm wondering if maybe I have an account with, like, a million dollars waiting for me. Wait a minute. <laughs> does that say what I think it does? It, every, every single item on me will allow me to pretend to be a mentally retarded patient? What? That is amazing. I'm really curious what that actually does, but... I'm not that crazy. Not in a game with permadeath. So, again, I'm just gonna be a normal person. You begin explaining your situation, starting with the cryo facility, your amnesia, and the clues you follow to reach this point. She feigns interest as you tell your tale, but at the first opportunity, interjects. I'm sorry, uh, Mr. Kindred, but do you hold an account with us? I think so. You consider answering, but she continues. Or perhaps you have some form of identification? I have my bracelet. You hold forward your bracelet, plaintively. Oh, she says, switching subtly from attentive to deflective. I'm afraid we can only serve as clients who presently hold an account with Detroit Savings Banks, 
savings bank, or citizens of Detroit opening new accounts. However, you're still welcome to use our payment network at any participating vendor. Your mobile device can both send and receive payments. She indicates a brightly illustrated placard on the wall, depicting overwhelmingly inoffensive young people conducting transaction transactions in an unnaturally happy fashion. You smile and thank the young lady, and head back outside. The humid city air seems palpable after the crisp environs of the in of the booth. Okay. Well. Now I kind of want to hide and wait. But I'm kind of worried somebody's going to see me hiding and arrest me and I'll be in jail forever and I'll die. So given that I can always come back, I think I'm just going to leave. I can always come back. I'm assuming this doesn't take up my moves, does it? I hope not. Okay. I don't think I've even, I even recognize any of this other stuff, so... The Health Clinic? Haggerty Health Clinic is a pretty busy spot. Its proximity to Gate 11, and its mercenary attitude towards clientele, ensures that it has a steady stream of business from both inside the DMC and Sprawl. The Double H, as is often called, offers a wide spectrum of health services. Those include diagnostics, cleaning and dressing of wounds, therapeutics including nanorobotic suspension treatments, and prescription drugs. There's also an on-site augmentation clinic, where patients can elect for a prosthetic enhancement. Or, yeah, elect for prosthetic enhancements. These highly desired services may require special permits, in addition to the significant price tags. As you cross the street, you can't help but notice the activity on the rooftop. The high-pitched whines of turbines mark the coming and going of hover vehicles, spring water from a landing pad into a fine mist that rains around the building. A large proportion of the vehicle Vehicles appear to be unaffiliated, private ambulance services. You huddle your shoulders against the spray and duck under the brightly lit awning. Staggered automatic doors, forming a crude airlock, shoosh open as you approach. Eh, see what it's got to offer. Inside, the lobby looks a lot like any other clinic. There are banks of attached seats covering most of the floor, and counters for both receiving patients and dispensing pharmaceuticals. Dominating the right wall, Near a hallway and elevator bank is an LED sign displaying the currently served customers. Letter and number combinations update at random intervals as nurses escort patients to and from the room. You head over to the counter and get your waiting number. It isn't long before the LED lotto calls your number and you're led away for consultation. What services do you require today? Blood transfusion. Oh my god, that's expensive. Nanorobotic suspension treatment? I don't even know what that does. What does that even do? Antibiotics? 300 bucks? I don't have any antibiotics. That could be very valuable. Just wounds. Full diagnostics workup. Rehydration and micronutrition therapy. In other words, food and water. Oh, fix my temperature. That's pretty cool. Let's, uh, let's head upstairs. Haggerty Health also offers several elective procedures which involve implanting devices and replacement tissue. Before receiving any such procedures, the patient must undergo preliminary testing for eligibility, as not all patients are a good candidate for synthetic implementation or augmentation surgeries. Some procedures will require additional testing, and in some cases, special permits or authorizations. You begin speaking with an attendant, who reviews your eligibility test results. Fortunately, initial testing seems to indicate that you are eligible for further augmentations and prosthesis. You are given a catalog of procedures currently offered by Haggerty. Artificial eye night vision upgrade. Wait, for only 300 bucks I can have permanent night vision? That's like the best thing ever! I can also entirely replace my eyes for 5600 Eye surgery eyes. I wish these had more descriptions as to what they actually did. Like, what does that really do? 
Anyway, at the moment I can't actually forward anything. Let's go ahead and leave. The Red Gnome? What even is that? The Red Gnome is an exception in an already exceptional city. Situated on a busy corner in Gate 11's Neon Alley, the single-story, streamlined diner defies the densely packed high-rises and elevated roads around it. In fact, several adjoining buildings seem to grow over the diner, using the precious space above its roof. It seems almost untouchable in an otherwise claustrophobic warren of glittering skyscrapers and patchwork overpasses. Even before entering, you get the sense that there is something unusual about the place. It doesn't help that, in front of the diner, authorities have cordoned off some sort of accident. By the looks of it, a bag lady was hit by a bus. A few meters away, a man in an apron scrubs fresh spray paint off the diner's, diner's side. It's hard to tell, but it looks to be a cross in the word, repent. That doesn't seem to deter anyone's hunger, though. A line snakes out from a takeout window, under a sign boasting, Real soul food, real meat. Wait. Repent. Why do I feel like this place is selling human meat? Eh, let's have a look inside. Pushing through the stainless steel door, a rush of warm, greasy air fills your nose, replacing the damp coolness from outside. Your stomach erps almost instantly in anticipation of whatever you smell on the grill. The decor is somewhat less inviting, however. Despite a number of lights, most of them seem incapable of dispelling the dimness in the space. And sapia-stained curio along the walls seem to capture more of the creepy awkwardness of the diner's history than nostalgia. Padded stools line the, the long countertop, and booths run the length of the outer wall, sporting ripped vinyl benches. A stark pattern of one-inch tiles dots the floor. Not surprising, in retrospect, that the takeout line was so long. Still, an open seat and a warm meal are promised land compared to eating condensed soup in the rain. You shove your stuff into an empty booth and start paging through the laminated menu. Ooh. Jumbo fried shrimp, colored greens, black-eyed peas, and peach cobbler. That sounds amazing! Cadillac burger, mashed potatoes with gravy, cornbread. Fried chicken, mac and cheese, red beans with rice. I wonder why it said repent. Okay, well, I'm doing fine on food, and this place kind of creeps me out. Plus, I don't have much money, so I'm just going to leave. On second thought, maybe you aren't so hungry. You head back out into the streets. Okay. Concrete forest apartments. Can I get an apartment? <laughs> like, can I li live in an apartment? Arriving at Concrete Forest Apartments, you immediately see the resemblance. Towering structures stand at regular intervals, like giant artificial trees. Crisscrossing laundry lines, string lights, and contra code balcony modifications complete the illusion. Below, the ground is an organic patchwork of community gardens and trash heaps, gutted husks of cars and playgrounds. Those who call the forest home, and those who sleep in its shadow. It feels a bit like a street fair collided with a refuge camp in the ghetto. You step into the block and start looking around. There's a canteen a canteen truck strategically positioned to curbside near the main walk. People are lined up at the illuminated side window, and a mixture of steam and, and smoke stream from its openings. Nearby, music booms from where a crowd has gathered. It's all bobbing shoulders and legs from here, but you do see a car's hatchback sticking up from near the center. One of the towers has a sea store at ground level. A lonely fjord inside, but it doesn't seem very popular. And there's a ubiquitous knockoff vendor barking at passerbys. So, costs money to do that? It says 48 bucks. I don't understand. The canteen trunk is a the canteen truck is a piece of meat that's worth forty eight bucks. I guess I can probably just ignore that. Um, let's check out the crowd. The sidewalk is vibrating with bass as you approach, and the scene begins to make a bit more sense. 
A wide body, metallic red hatchback is parked near the center. Its door is and hatch wide open to expose an array of lights, speakers, and subs. You can almost feel the air move in time with the, with the beat. Meanwhile, b-boys are taking turns mixing moves and styles both familiar and strange. It astounds you how the human body can do these things, how humans still push the boundaries of an art form older than you can imagine. The high positive energy feels so foreign after days in the wild. Everything out there seems to be forgotten in this hot bath of sound and energy. You stick around a few minutes more, soaking up raw culture, then turn back to matters at hand. Okay, what the hell is a C store? D do they sell the letter C? What about the rest of the alphabet? In major towers like this, you'll often find a... Oh, a convenience store! You'll often find a convenience store on the ground level. Like what one would find at a gas station, it's filled with things that work in an emergency, but nothing for which you'd dedicate a visit. The cramped space is filled with bottled drinks, junk foods, over-the-counter drugs, and impulse buys. Hmm. I don't... <laughs> I barely have any money. I'm sure I can't buy anything. Check out the canteen truck. As you get closer, you smell fried food. You catch an unfamiliar, savory scent. Spicy, but also a bit sweet. And a bit artificial. No menu, though. Folks here must be regulars. Just line up a few words and pay and go. The dude in the truck probably makes a tidy profit at the rate he's going. Once again, don't eat food. Let's leave. Leaving. To Core City. Can I enter the Core City? I mean, I'm seriously wondering, what do I do from here? Is there something to do after the glow? I, I really don't know. I mean, the game's not finished, so it's possible the story just doesn't continue. So I've got lots of places to go to get food and stuff, but I don't actually need any of that at the moment. So, <laughs> what do I do? It's kind of a sandbox game, but at the same time, now I'm kind of left with no direction whatsoever. Before, there was the glow to work towards, but now. Now what? Let's be a creep at the Detroit Savings Bank. Let's hide. You take a position far enough away to be disassociated from the booth, and find something to occupy your time as you wait. The booth doesn't gather a lot of foot traffic, which might explain why there are so few of them around town. As soreness overcomes your feet, you realize it's going to take long... It's going to take... Oh, I should say it's going to take longer than you thought. Wait, so can I... So I can't just keep hiding, can I? It's not going to do anything? Yep. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, it actually worked. You take a position, yep. Fortunately, it appears something has come up. Whether a growling stomach or not, the teller gathers some things, exits the booth, and locks it behind her. <gasps> Ooh. Wait, what the hell am I actually waiting for? Right, now that it's locked. Oh, would I need the lockpicking skill? I think I might need the lockpicking skill to be able to get inside. Okay, wait for them to come back. <laughs> oh, maybe not. Several minutes later, the teller walks back up to the booth and unlocks the door. She spreads a few personal effects on her desk and draws the keyboard near. Oh, can I get her password by watching her log in? <laughs> if I can actually do this, it's gonna be so fucking cool. Which one's better? I don't really know. Maybe it doesn't matter. This one's worth more. Well, let's go with binoculars. When the login screen appears, the teller rattles off some keystrokes. And it's almost too quick to discern. However, you think you have it down to a couple possible permutations. It should be few enough to try manually without a lockout. Now, 
to get your mitts on that keyboard. Huh. Okay. I'm guessing if I had the lockpicking skill, I could probably get inside when she wasn't there. But I don't. So... Where does that leave me? I could threaten her. That seems incredibly stupid. That is incredibly stupid. After all this work, I'm not gonna th threaten her. That's just dumb. And that's... Yeah, that's not the key to get inside of the Detroit bank, right? It's once I'm inside that's the key to the keyboard. In other words, if I wait for her to leave again, it's not gonna matter. I could wait for her to leave again. I mean, this doesn't cost me anything. Literally nothing's going down. Yeah, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Can I do it again? Yep. It appears there's nothing I can do but threaten her. Shit. There's no way I'm gonna threaten her, that's so dumb. That's just dumb. And this is two core city, and once again I'm wondering, is there a way to get there? Or maybe there's going to be a way to get there, but it hasn't been added yet? I don't know. I don't know, like... Maybe Hatter has another job for me? Merging with a line of people and vehicles, you make your way through the exit tunnel into a muddy tent city of the sprawl. Oh, Hatter! Shit, I can't talk to him anymore, can I? Alright, let's sell, let's sell shit I don't need. I need money. Alright, what do I not want? Gotta be careful with these drugs. Gotta be really careful. Let's empty it out. No, oh, fuck. It empties it out into the fucking items on the ground? Wait a minute. Wait, I think it's okay. I think it gave me the money. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it actually gave me the money. Okay, well, I don't need sleeping pills. Purification tablets. Sure, I'll keep it. Those are real drugs in there. Real painkillers. That's fine. They can have them all. Ooh, AAA batteries. I'm assuming that's what this uses. It is, but I need more. I think. And now what was it? Was it $200 for the eye enhancements? I'd really like that. Cell phone? I still don't know what goes inside the cell phone. Memory stick? Still don't know what to do with that. Can I put the memory stick inside the cell phone? No, it's got to be for a computer, which I obviously do not have. Okay. Shit that I can sell. Sleeping bag. Do I want to get rid of my sleeping bag? To be honest, I don't need it. My temperature's fine. My patchwork high tunic is pretty much all I need. That's doing fine. I think I'll dump it. I want some money. Yeah. Water tester. Again, since I sterilize all my water, I don't think I really need it. Get rid of that, too. 300 bucks. Nice. Oh, yeah, ammo. That's right. I can keep it in case I find a rifle. But the chance of that's pretty low. I'm just going to dump it. All right, 420 bucks. Now I've got some, some spending money. Whereas before, I had saving money. They're very different types. 
Gotta be careful. And don't even dare try to spend saving money. Do you know what happens when you try to spend saving money? Horrible things happen. Don't do it. Don't do it. Well, what the fuck is this? Why am I encountering a person? I just entered the... What? Uh... Offer to talk? Hi? Oh, it's the same as before, a guy talking. What's the story with the swamp and all that? I, I still don't understand why there's a story with the swamp. What swamp? Wait, is the swamp the lake house? Chemical wash? Maybe, that, maybe that's what the swamp is. That's the place where I encountered the weird stuff. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, I really don't know what to do. Can I, like, buy lockpicks or something? And use those to get inside of the Detroit Savings Bank? I don't even know if lockpicks exist. Let's check the wiki. I'm gonna search for lockpick. Hmm. Lockpicks do exist. Let's see, okay. But you need the lockpicking skill if you want to make them. Yeah, which I don't have, but I suppose I could use them if I did have them. Okay, well, if they exist, then I should be able to find them in the world. I've never seen a single lockpick, though. Hmm. I'm gonna try lockpicking next time, maybe. Okay. I honestly don't know where to go from here. I think I'm going to have to look this up to see whether the game actually really continues. I mean, I could just sandbox it, obviously, and just go out into the wild and do what? I don't know. I could make my goal to be to upgrade all of my stuff at the Haggerty Health Clinic or something. I'm not sure how interesting that would be, though. I want some sort of a goal. So, yeah, I'm going to do some looking around, see what I can do next other than threaten. Because that just seems like a horrible idea. So, yeah. Made some damn good progress. I've gotten much further than I've ever gotten before or seen anybody else get. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.